Mater's Tall Tales. Let's see, this is Rescue Squad Mater, Mater the Greater, and L Mater Door. First one's Rescue Squad Mater. Lightning McQueen and Mater were enjoying a cruise down Main Street when Mater said, you know, I used to be a fire truck. What, said Lightning? He couldn't believe what he was hearing. Dad gone right, replied Mater, and he started to tell Lightning the story. There's Lightning and Mater. Mater jumped when he heard the alarm. All units, please respond. Fire in progress, blared the voice from the speaker. That's the old gasoline and match factory, Mater exclaimed when he heard the address. He was ready. Mater set off towards the blaze. There was no time to spare. Mater won en route, he replied, racing over the hill. Mater arrived at the scene of the fire and got to work. He used his hose to blast water directly into the burning building. Be advised, this is an explosive situation, warned the dispatcher. Rescue squad Mater, we're counting on you. 10-4, I'm on it, replied Mater, shooting more water into the blaze. Mater, said Lightning McQueen, interrupting his story. I cannot believe that you are a fire truck. You remember for Pete's sake, Mater replied. You were there too, and he continued his amazing story. Oh, help, help, cried Lightning, looking for a way out of the burning building. Remain calm, said Mater, soaking his friend with cold water. Mater quickly spun around and raised his ladder to help Lightning get away from the flames. Ah, gotcha, said Mater as he pulled his friend out the window, just before the building exploded. Mater rushed Lightning into the back of an ambulance. Get him to the hospital. He's overheating, said Mater. The crowd cheered for their hero, rescue squad Mater. Yay, Mater, cried Mia. Mater's awesome, said Tia. Meanwhile, lightning was being wheeled into the hospital's operating room. Ha, what's going on? Where am I? He asked, confused. Lightning was shocked when Mater rolled into the room. Mater, you're a doctor too, Lightning said. That's right, buddy, Mater said. Got my MD, my PhD, my STP, and my GTO. Hey, doctor, said the nurse. GTO as she arrived. Everybody stand clear, Mater warned, preparing to give Lightning's battery a high voltage charge. No, wait, screamed Lightning. Well, what happened, said Lightning. I saved your life, replied Mater. Did not, said Lightning. Did so, said Mater. Not, replied Lightning. That's Guido and Luigi. Just then, Nurse GTO drove by. Hello, doctor, she said to Mater. Lightning. Did so, said Mater, leaving Lightning McQueen speechless. Mater the Greater. Lightning McQueen and some friends were enjoying a quiet afternoon at Flo's when they heard the unmistakable sounds of an engine revving up and wheels screeching on pavement. They looked up just in time to see Mater flying through the air. Whoosh! Whoa! Mater screamed as he zoomed by and landed on a pile of oil cans. Lightning. Fillmore. Mater. Sarge. Lightning. Luigi. Guido. Mater. Mater, are you all right? said Lightning as he checked on his friend. Well, of course I'm all right, replied Mater. I used to be a daredevil. What? said Lightning. That's right, said Mater, as he started to tell the story. Folks would come from all around the world to see my stunts. Ladies and gentlemen, Mater the Greater, screamed the announcer when Mater entered the stadium. The crowd went wild. But Mater wasn't distracted by the crowd. He was focused as he stared at the line of cars he was about to jump over and gulped. It was a really big line. Yes, it's Mater the Greater. 
but nothing could stop him now. He revved up his engine and raced towards the ramp. And he's off, said the announcer. Mater hit the ramp going full speed. He gunned his engine for all the power he'd need to make the jump. Then he was airborne. Whoosh. But not for long. Mater landed with a thud on the first two cars in line. Ow, said one of the cars. Excuse me, pardon me, coming through. Sorry about that, Mater said, as he gently rolled his way across the cars. He did it, cried the announcer. When Mater made it to the other ramp, the crowd cheered, but Mater wasn't done yet. Yeah, those are the stunt cars. That's Mater the Greater. I turn the page. Next, Mater was shot out of a cannon and nearly fried his fenders. Then he did a high dive jump. Yep, I've done busted nearly every part of my body, said Mater, continuing his story. But the biggest stunt I ever did was jumping Carburetor Canyon. You jumped Carburetor Canyon, said Lightning. No way. Yes way, replied Mater. You remember, you were there too. It's Lightning, Mater, Sarge, and Fillmore. Ready, buddy? asked Mater as he and Lightning sat side by side with rockets strapped to their backs. Before Lightning could answer, Mater's pities lit the fuse. All right, Lynn, get her done, said Mater as his buddy went blasting down the ramp. Ah, screamed Lightning. Lightning yelled as he flew into the air over Carburetor Canyon. Lightning. But halfway across the canyon, the rockets started to sputter and lose power. Well, what happened, said Lightning. You didn't make it, replied Mater. I can't see, move your finger. It's Fillmore, Sarge, Mater, Lightning. I don't know who that is back there. Turn the page. You got to finish our story, turn the page. Once again, Lightning McQueen was speechless. We'll see you later, said Mater as he drove away. That's Ramon. El Matador. Mater and Lightning McQueen were driving down the road when they passed a group of grazing bulldozers. You know, said Mater, I used to be a famous bulldozer fighter in Spain. They called me El Matador. The crowd cheered whenever El Matador entered the arena. He was the bravest bulldozer fighter there ever was. Everybody loved El Matador. He was fearless. Anyone who looked into his eyes knew that he simply couldn't be defeated. When the bulldozer entered the arena, a hush came over the crowd. The bulldozer snarled and charged El Matador. El Matador wagged waved his red flag, then he calmly pulled it up at the very last moment, easily dodging the raging machine. As El Matador enjoyed the cheers from the crowd, the bulldozer snuck around and charged El Matador from behind. The bulldozer buried El Matador in the dirt. The crowd couldn't believe their eyes. This was the end for El Matador. Suddenly, El Matador's hook popped out of the dirt Catching the red flag, El Matador was alive. The crowd cheered, yay! El Matador's biggest fans, Centuria Mia and Senorita Tia, were overjoyed to see their hero had survived. Ole, cried Mia. Bravo, Senor Mater, cried Tia. That's Mia and Tia. El Matador was determined to get back at the bulldozer. He shook off his hood and locked eyes with the big machine. He was ready to rumble. But now there were three bulldozers. Uh-oh. Yikes. Would even the great El Matador be able to survive against three bulldozers? The bulldozers charged El Matador, but he just, when they had him surrounded, he leaped into the air and the bulldozers crashed into one another. Ole, said El Matador, standing proudly atop the defeated bulldozers. Ole, bravo, senior mater, cheered the crowd. But the crowd had cheered too soon. There I was, surrounded, mater said, continuing his story. Bulldozers all around me. What did you do, said Lightning. 
What did I, well, don't you remember? You were there too, replied Mater. They sure like your fancy red paint job, Mater told Lightning. Ah, screamed Lightning as the bulldozers chased him around the arena. Mater, said Lightning, that did not happen. Well, try telling that. <laughs> Watch out, you kissing him? Oh, you love Mater. Try telling that to them there bulldozers, said Mater. Huh, said Lightning suddenly. He noticed that they were surrounded by bulldozers. You kissing Lightning? <laughs> ah, screamed Lightning as he raced off with the bulldozers right on his tail. Just then, two of Mater's biggest fans arrived. Senorita, said Mater. Give Mater a kiss. Tossing in his matador hat. Ole. Then the three cars drove off in search of new adventures and maybe even a tail or two. Mia, Mater, Tia. The end. <laughs>